While all that was going down at Albert Park, there was another rally by, I think it's called Division New Zealand Party. I find it hard to keep up. Basically, the party uh, set up by Hana Tamaki and, of course, aligned with the Destiny Church. That was in Aotea Square and it featured large numbers of people on motorcycles. And without any documentary proof, apparently one of those people ran into Marima Davidson. Though all that is a bit murky. And um, it seems that a lot of the hateful protesters at Albert Park then went down to try and shut down uh, this Vision New Zealand rally without so much success. So what went on? What was the background to all that? We are joined now by the leader of Vision New Zealand, Hana Tamaki. Hana, nice to have you with us again. How are you going? I'm good, thank you, Sean. Well, your event on Saturday got a little bit overawed, didn't it, by another event? Yeah, well, I think that um, what had happened was uh, they felt a victory up up at Albert Park and thought they were going to come down and have the same victory down at uh, Aotea Square, not realising that we had a family event going on with hundreds of parents and children. And uh, the Man Up team and the Te Tangata riders decided to come and support us because they believed in the family values and wanted to support their wives and children there. So thankfully they were there because uh, otherwise I think there would have been a, a terrible victory to the organisation that trashed an innocent woman uh, event. Now that to me is absolutely appalling that men in dresses attack a woman for wanting to speak. They want to be a woman, but they want to attack a woman. What the heck's gone on in our society? Mm. Anna, did you offer or, or, or did you reach out or your husband reach out to um, Posey Parker, to Kelly J, to kind of yes. hook up the two yes. events? Yes. Well, what had happened is we decided to make a stand against the curriculum that the government want to implement next year, the sexualisation of children. And um, I, I put the ad up and then somebody contacted me and said, did you realise that Posey Parker, Kelly J, was also having an event, of course I'd not heard about it, so I started mm. Googling, I thought, oh my gosh, I was I would support what she's saying because I had a woman's event three months ago called I Am Woman, and um, I thought, no one's going to take that title from me, I'm a mum, you know, nana, wife, I, I'm not going to be yeah. robbed of my title. And so um, we tried to reach out through lots of different avenues, um, thinking, well, why don't we combine somehow? And, um, you know, unfortunately it just didn't come about. But um, we just kept pushing right, even... So I want to clarify, Hannah, because a lot of people have made claims about this. There was no way yeah. you were in cahoots with Kelly J or, or Posey Parker or her organisers. They were two completely separate events. Totally separate. Did not know of her. She not, does not know of me. Um, but once I heard that she was coming and, and what her message is, I totally resounded with that message yeah. and thought that it would be fair for her to, give, um, to be given a platform. Now... You know, I just disagree with the way that men dressed as women have treated the woman trying to protect um, Posey Parker or Kelly. And um, I just think, you know what, New Zealand's suffering because around the world now, they want to boycott and ban the, the buying of our meat and produce. So uh, there's, the repercussions of this have gone a lot further. There's so much hate on New Zealand at the moment. And... Why do men want to silence women? Okay, we, yeah, we, we can be mouthy and we do talk a lot, but why not give men... Why no, no, men don't say that, women? Hannah. You've always been a, a, <laughs> an absolute warfare. Hey, look, the other thing <laughs> I, I want to get into here is there is the suggestion that a bunch of guys on motorcycles who were Destiny Church or Vision New Zealand supporters drove past and that one of them deliberately mowed down or bumped Marima Davidson. What a load of tripe. Come up with the footage. So from what we've, we've been trying to find out, get to the bottom of it, um, the person that was at the tail of the riders, because I actually said to Brian, why don't you ride past Posey's um, event and do a bit of a rev up in support of them? And then Brian saw a few people. He stopped, had it, took his helmet off, had a chat quickly, hopped on the bike and came down to our event. Yeah. So what happened was, from my understanding, his mother must get down onto the, the road to try and take... Um, some pictures and holding a sign. From what I understand, I'm not making this factual because... Yeah, yeah, You're, yeah from what you understand, I get it. Yeah, and um, I don't know whether her sign got clipped, but I do not believe that she was knocked to the ground. Okay, but and it is it possible it was someone involved in, in the ride past associated with Brian. 
Hey, could be. I don't know. I, I'm not going to say yes to anything. Okay, okay. No, I'm, okay I'm that's fine. That's about. fine. Yeah. But sort of claims are being made. You're being painted as some sort of evil bikey gang that went around mowing down Green Party members. Oh, whatever. Three Green Party members are in there doing hate and promoting hate. And the other thing is, Marama was really, you know, if she was really stunned by that event, why didn't she attack a man riding a motorbike instead of a white man? Why was mm. she coming up with that stuff? That stuff come and blurry. If I was stunned by something, I would have said, I hate motorcyclists. I hate men in, in leather jackets riding bikes. Oh, what, look what they did to me. But oh, motorcyclists, no, motorcyclists, you've got to understand, Hannah, motorcyclists are a direct result of colonisation. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, let's bo- we're born to be wild. Let's- we're born to be wild, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Walk on the wild side sometime. Yeah. All Come right, on. look, after they had literally terrorised Posey Parker and run her out of a public space... Um, yeah. The wonderful rainbow unicorns decided to come down to Aotea Square to your event. What happened there? What unfolded yes. then? Well, uh, we had like four amazing speakers, and the second to last speaker of all, all, was seated, and all of a sudden he was actually a teacher talking about the curriculum, explaining it to the people, telling them to go to their boards of trustees to to check it out for themselves. Don't just believe what we're telling you. And he was there were there were whistles blowing, and then. We actually could see that they were trying to push on into AOT Square. Well, sadly, they came on the... Ro- well, fortunately for us, they came where all the motorcyclists were standing and all the men up, the man up team were standing, so they were blocked. They couldn't get in. So we didn't have a barricade. We had a, a, a barricade of actual men, not a metal one, mm. and they tried to push past, but they weren't able to. And then we had thought, look, hey, after this, why don't we just walk down Queen Street? We started walking down Queen Street. They started flanking us, but they couldn't get, mm. get in and stop us. But they were pulling men, uh, women, men and children out of the crowd, punching them in the head, punching women in the head, um, threatening children in the head. Two of my grandchil- great-grandchildren pushed his, were pushed over. Actually, admittedly, one was from a police officer. Mm. Um, the other one was from um, the, the other organisation. But they had tasted a bit of victory in blood. And they thought, oh, next victim. Well, sadly, that did not happen. Okay. We were not uh, you mentioned the police there, Hannah, and I think a lot of hard questions are being asked about the police in relation to their complete lack of protection, not just for Posey Parker, yes, but absolutely. for the other women who were there. With It has been suggested to me that police couldn't deploy resources there because they were on standby for any problems at Aotea Square. Did you have coordination oh, with police about what was going on? What's your view on that? We did. We, we were in touch with the police from the Wednesday um, on the Friday. We actually got a text on the Saturday afternoon saying that we, it was well done. Um, we've never had issues in any of the protests we've done. This is the first time. But they were up there and they deliberately, they it was just cruelty and just brutality what was done to Posey Parker. Um, and then they thought they'd come down and do the same to me. And my okay, are you I'll saying that, that your that understanding is the police deliberately stood by as things unfolded around the Rotunda and Albert Park? Well, from what I hear from the people that were there, um, yes, they did not do enough. And, you know, why Why didn't they um, get all the policewomen in Auckland to go and support it when they realised that, um, hey, none of our politicians were actually speaking up for Posey, all of them... Actually, every single one of them in Parliament this morning needs to be reprimanded over the treatment and the, the incitement that they all produce to bring that crowd and give that crowd a licence to treat Posey Parker the way they did. It's disgusting. When a woman in a, push, in a, in a, a, woman in a wheelchair is punched in the face, when a grandmother is punched in the face three times, you know what? I sometimes think, man, Hannah, your old Hannah should come out and get down there and do some stuff. But, you know, thankfully, these men that we're working with are under, pro, you know, they're progressing in their life. They're changing their life. So we didn't have a big brawl break out in the street. But maybe two years ago, we could have had a brawl break, break out. But they knew and they would accuse us of brutality. Yet the very thing they did to a woman is what they tried to do to us. And we were not going to take it. All right. I do want to ask you this, um, Hannah, because I know I'm going to get some hatred online for even talking to you. Yeah. 
Um, and, you know, <laughs> our, fair our, fair our anti, anti-female mainstream media will, 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 will have a crack and they won't talk to you or take you seriously. Do you believe no. that men who feel like women should be allowed to put dresses on and pretend to be women if they want to? Of course they can. And you know what? They can, they can go into a man's toilet and do their tutu, do whatever they want to do, but I do not want them in, cho- in young children, young women's toilets or changing rooms. I do not want them competing against women because they can't beat men. Why do you, you know... It's, mm, but it's you don't hate I them think. and it's you don't want them cancelled or, or, or locked up or no, anything else? I want them locked up if they commit crimes. Yeah. Yes, I absolutely do. And you know what? Uh, the, the, the two main culprits that seem to be uh, flaunting themselves and enjoying it they're immigrants to New Zealand. Um, are, we, are they citizens now? This yeah. Is absolutely yeah, they appealing. are. One of them's done a runner, though. Stand up. One of them's done a runner. Uh, yeah, well, how come they got the opportunity to do a runner? Because somebody, somebody advised them. So I'd love to know which lawyer advised them to skip the country. I thought they were so proud of what they did. Stay here and be proud. Face up to your, to your complaints. Yeah. Hannah, I thank you very much for coming on the program today and telling uh, us you your sure. side of that story. Always good to talk to you. Always Take care. Always nice to talk to you. Enjoy the platform. Bye-bye. Cheers. That is Hannah Tamaki.